boxing tape. So I'll, we'll get to the other part in a minute. All right. So what I'm going to do next is cut it. You can use a Dremel, or I like my little sander here. You can do nice straight edges. And uh, you got to be careful with something like that because what can happen is uh, you'll get burnt. Well, not burnt, but you get melted edges on it if you're not careful. But I'm always careful. So we can turn it off. All right, so here we go. I got my sander. These things are so really like handy. I love them. Uh, of course, you should wear a mask when doing this because you don't want plastic in your lungs. So basically, you can. Here we go. You can see how accurate it can cut away parts. Kind of a slow process doing it like this, but you can't you can't put back what uh, you take off. So. We'll switch sides so it doesn't heat up too much. on going. Let's see there's the tab there so we'll go we'll go until we get just to the edge of the tab. See? Went until I went to the edge of the tab. So now Switch around every once in a while so we interact them. there you can see a bit of the well I don't know here there we go repositioned it and we'll just make sure that the tape is in the right place there we'll just you know, take off some of the tape on the other side just got that part pretty darn close all right so now I'll do this part here there, right, right to the edge the tab might not be perfect it might be under cut but you can Takes out a bit. Maybe I'll go clean that up with a maybe a file afterwards. Okay, now we'll do this side. See how close we are with the white there? We're almost there. Right. 
a little bit more light on this end. Yeah, just skimmed off the white. All right, so I might be missing some of this, but because I can't see the camera, but I'm doing my best for you. So we'll do this side. Getting there. What you can also what you can also do is you can slow this thing down. So I'm getting close to the edge with that, so I can slow, slow it down. why I want it going this way uh, is because the, the paper's drawn under if you do the other way you could go too far so if, if I was going this way and, wa and watch it and this is going like that it'll pull the lip off here and give me the, the idea that I am not taking off as much as I thought I was you can also go sideways too if you want but uh, this has a tendency to mm, go concave if you push on it so I prefer to go this way and there I don't see any more white just a little tiny sliver of it now we'll do this last side So we'll inspect it and see if there's any more white left. I have some white on this side here. I don't have any white on that side. So what I'll do is I'll pull some of that off. And I'll, you can see just a sliver of white on that edge. tab left there okay and it kind of undercut those but the tab is really not a very important part of here just protects it from uh, getting scratched when you insert it all right so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back and do the other side just to, just to do it. make sure that make sure there's no burrs I'll just bevel it on the edge, right? Okay, so that looks like it's pretty good. Um, we don't want to open it up right away because it's going to be dusty down here. Hmm, I feel like there, I can I can feel there's a little bit of a little bit of uh, burr on the edge of this one here. So we can fix that up with a, oh, we can do, do that actually right now. I'll do that right now for you. Yeah, we'll just do it at an angle. All right. Oh, get this all flipped over. So you can see it's going that way. We'll do it at an angle. off and you can 
feel there's no more burr left there. I'm gonna do it here too. And do it all, all the sides. Because if you leave the burr in there, you're gonna have issues with the shim. All right. Okay, there we go. It's pretty good. I'll show you what it looks like uh, in a minute. All right, so I'm 